Yeah, and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm High Vision Man, and due to popular demand, a lot of people are asking me, how can I conserve my hydrogen within my water, or basically be able to travel with it? Plus, I'm getting a lot of people ask me how to use the hydrogen bag or the H2 bag. So I thought I'd make this video. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to use the H2 bag. You know, if you're asking yourself, what is this good for? Basically, let's say if you're going to work and you wanna be able to take your hydrogen water with you, let's say you're gonna to go to the gym, let's say you wanna to go to the sauna, I like going to saunas, you know, anywhere you wanna go with hydrogen water. And the reason is, is because there really is no good portable hydrogen machines at this time. So this is really your, basically your best option. And good news really for all of us because there's a Japanese man who was a scientist who has actually worked for NASA. He developed this bag. There's only one company in the world that makes these things. So if it wasn't for this, we'd be up a creek without a paddle. <laughs> so we'd be in trouble. So I really like this product. Let me, guys, let me show you guys how you use it. <laughs> so, all right, this thing will hold, the manufacturer says it'll hold about one liter. You can get about between one and 1.5 liters. The thing is, is that if you put one liter in it, it'll probably conserve the hydrogen for a little longer period of time as compared to if you put 1.5 liters. The reason has to do with water pressure, but let me show you how to use it. There's two caps on this thing. So first I take the main cap off. So this is how you fill it. Okay, let me show you how to do it. I got a little tiny funnel that I like to use. I put it in here. And of course I'm grabbing the water out of a Lourdes. And the reason this is actually kind of important is because hydrogen water, depending on what machine you use, it actually depends how long the hydrogen will last in the water. Because the Lourdes makes it in a unique way, the hydrogen will last longer. And then if you put that kind of water in this pouch, it lasts even longer. And that's really a good thing because you wanna be able to take this with you. Like sometimes I go hiking and stuff, that's when I take my water with me. So look at this, I got almost 1.5 liters into this bag. So there we go, it's all completely full. So this is what you do after you've poured all the water into it. So what you do is you put the cap back on it and there's a gasket on this cap. So you, you screw it on and you really seal it really good. I like to get a nice snug fit, but then you take the top little cap off and then what you do is, well, I get a container. This is what I do. You can go over a sink or something, but I put a container there and I squeeze right here at the center. You hear the air and then water right there. So you can actually see, I don't know if you can see the water floating right on the surface right there. Let's see if you can see that somehow. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then you have the little cap with the gasket on there and you seal it and it's good to go. Now, one of the things that I like to do is the manufacturer says that if you lay it down like this, the hydrogen is gonna last longer. I'm assuming that's due to water pressure. So, you know, it really depends on the kind of water you're using because a lot of water that is made instantaneously is basically done through a pressurized process. It never lasts that long. So just pouring the water, you're gonna lose a lot of hydrogen. Obviously the Lourdes doesn't pressurize the water. That's why it lasts longer. It's one of the reasons I like to use it. So here's the deal. You can put this in the fridge like sideways it's probably gonna last like 90% of the hydrogen or more for like a week. Now, is that realistic? Probably not because I take, the, I take the water with me and I've actually taken it with me for like 24 hours. I've gone to the gym, I go grocery shopping, I run all my errands, I go to work, all these different things and I've tested it and I still have like 80% of the hydrogen in this, even in hot temperatures. So this thing is pretty awesome. There's no way you can contain the hydrogen in any other container, I've tried. I've tried different water bottles, glass jars. Hydrogen goes through anything. So this thing really works the best. That's what I have found. So that's the way you do it. But what I would share with you guys is how you drink out of this also. I never want to put my mouth on this container because if you get any bacteria in here, you got to wash it out. And honestly, it's really hard to wash one of these things because of the design. So what I do, I don't know if it'll help you guys, but this is what I do. I take the little cap off. And one thing that I do is I just pour it in my mouth without touching it like this. That oh, tastes good. <laughs> now, that's one of the things that I do. The other way you can do it too is you can take a cup. So like maybe you have the cup here and you can just put it completely upside down. Maybe you can even angle the cup if you wanna make it go softly in there to prevent, you know, prevent any hydrogen from going away. But you can pour it that way also. And then you just put the cap back on here. 
And that's another way of doing it. And then you can just keep your hydrogen water. I'm a hydrogen junkie. I don't know if you can tell yet. <laughs> I love this stuff. So that's really, you know, how you use the bag. And it really gives you great options for being able to take it with you. It's the only option that I've personally found. Obviously, it's made in Japan. It's a good quality product. And this scientist who invented it, I'm grateful for it. I don't even know the guy, but, but I'm grateful for it because now I can take hydrogen water with me. Notice it doesn't even, you can't really make it slosh around because there's no air in it. It's completely airtight. It's got some nozzle going all the way down in here that goes with this. Some patent product, you know, patent, patented product. And, uh, and so that's awesome. So if you guys don't want to know where I got mine, I'll put a link below. And for those of you who have them and want to know how to use them, that's the way I use it. So I hope you guys found it helpful. Don't forget to like the video. If you did find it helpful and you like the information, that's great. Don't forget to subscribe as it helps the channel. And I'll keep making these videos for you guys. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time on the next video.